Good afternoon everyone, this is Snowball from Going In Time TV. I'm here with the latest English news bulletin. Here are some international news. Leon Cameron, the former head designer of luxury car manufacturer Rolls-Royce, have been stabbed to death in his mansion in Germany. His wife, Verena Close, saved her life by jumping over the wall and hiding in a neighbor's house. And from there, she gave all the information about the case of, to the police. According to the information, he was attacked in his luxurious mansion located on the Lake Amherst in Herrsching, Germany. India stepped to help Palestinian refugees living in camp in the Gaza Strip are being appreciated. UNRWA, an organization working for Palestinian refugees, said that we are getting continuous support from India amidst political and financial challenges. India on Monday released $2.5 million to the United Nations Relief and Work Agency UNRWA for relief and service work being carried out for Palestinian refugees. This was first installment of the $5 million released every year. Punjab province police will interrogate former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan in jail. In fact, an anti-terrorism court has sent Imran Khan to 10-day custody in the case of the May 9 riots. Several cases were registered against him during the May 9 riots. Punjab province police claims that 12 terrorism-related cases are going on against Imran Khan. One of these cases is also related to the attack on a military officer in Lahore. Now, some national news. Special strategy being made for the first 100 days of Modi government. Top bureaucrats of all ministers and departments of the central government have been directed to identify at least one impactful project to be launched in the first 100 days of the government and implement the action points as envisioned by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Haryana Assembly's election will be held at the end of this year. Since the elections are a few months away, all political parties have started preparing their political fieldings. While the BJP is preparing its fielding in terms of double the engine government model and caste equations, the Congress is preparing to dominate the election battle by making the people's manifest to into political models. Political experts say that this election in Haryana to be held in the next few months is going to be very interesting. In views of difficulties faced by teachers in Uttar Pradesh, the chief secretary said that digital attendance should be postponed till further orders. Along with this, it was de uh, decided to constitute an expert committee to listen to the problems and suggestions of the teachers. This committee will give its report after listening the problem. He said that this committee will include education department officials, teachers, union representatives, educationists. This committee will consider all the dimensions and give its suggestions for the improvement. A decision will be taken on the basis of the committee's report. From Sports World, it was not easy for Serbian star Zokovic to defeat the young Spanish player. Alcaraz has played from Grand Slam finals so far and interestingly, he has not lost in it yet. Alcaraz defeated Zokovic in the men's single match of the Tennis Grand Slam tournament Wimbledon 2024 and won the title. Sachin, who is called the god of cricket, also congratulated Alcaraz on his historic victory. He said from now on, only person will rule tennis, that is Alcaraz. Winning the Wimbledon final in straight sets against a world-class opponent is no joke. Aim to convert bronze into gold medal. Hockey India on Wednesday announced a 16-member team for next month's Paris Olympics with Harman Preet Singh as captain and Hardik Singh as vice-captain. Five players in the Indian team will make their Olympic debut. Apart from these, the team also includes some senior players who have participated in the previous stage. The Indian team, which won bronze medal in Tokyo Olympics 2020, has been placed in Pool B along with defencing champions Belgium, Australia, Argentina, New Zealand and Ireland. The top four teams in the pool points table will reach the quarter-finals. Indian players are currently busy preparing for the Olympics in the national camp. Saik Center in Bengaluru Now some local happenings. So far, 1,130 students have taken admission in undergraduate courses in government national colleges and government women colleges. 
most admissions have been in BA. 707 students have taken admission on 1630 seats of BA. The last day to pay the fee under the second merit list was Monday. Students took admission by paying the fee till 5 pm. Only 88 students have taken admission under the second merit list. Now physical counseling will be done on July 17 for the vacant seats. After this, the portal will open for on online applications from July 17 to 30. The first physical counseling will be done from July 18 to July 24 with a late fee of rupees 100. After this, the second physical counseling will be done from July 25 to July 30. Villagers of several villages in Sirsa area of Haryana angry over the inability to control drug smugglers. They seized the Chotala police outpost on Monday and raised slogans. Traders also kept the market close in support of campaign against drugs. The view of the pre-declared siege of the outpost. The police administration remained alert as a precaution. Let's know our weather today. The weather in Sissa today is partly clouded with the 40% rain precipitation and maximum temperature is 38 degrees Celsius while minimum temperature is 31 degrees Celsius. Some going good news. Students who won medal in the district Jiu-Jitsu championship were, were felicitated by the principal in the morning assembly. She congratulated them and motivated them to bring Lawrence to the school in future competitions. Thank you. That's it for the today's English News Bulletin. You may have a wonderful day ahead.